Hey everyone, I'm Olivia and you're watching Fly DIYs and today I'm going to teach you how to make this or uh, something that'll look similar to this. Now you may be asking me, what is that? Well, honestly, I had no idea what it was either until I had to click the link on Pinterest and it said that it was just supposed to be a, like, flower pot. So this is not what it's going to look like. I'm going to tear this apart and redo it because this does not look good. So I got the idea for this project obviously from Pinterest because Pinterest is the only life that I have outside of school and work. Anyways, so I was on Pinterest and I saw this project and it said it only took spoons, a jar, and a spray paint and a hot glue gun and I'm like we got ourselves a fly DIY first of all with all of the materials that you will need to make the project you will need a clear jar I mean I guess it doesn't have to be clear but I preferred clear this is just a Tostitos salsa jar recycle perfect saving the earth as we speak Next, you will need plastic spoons. Um, you are going to want a lot of these. Next, you will need one of the most important tools when it comes to DIY projects, and that is your glue gun. <clears throat> and then next, you, well, I guess this next one is actually kind of optional. If you want to add some color, you know, kind of spruce up your project a little bit instead of like boring red or white plastic spoons, you can use spray paint. Well, okay, here is your finished product. I mean, if you want to spray paint it, I highly suggest you go and spray paint it. I know I'm going to spray paint it. I think I'm going to spray paint it gold. You know, give it a kind of cool metallic look. But before you do that, you want to get all like the stringy things off of from your hot glue. So yeah, make sure to do that. But this is your finished product. It actually didn't turn out as bad as I thought I would. The bottom's looking a little rough, but I don't know if people will actually see that. But you can use this. I've been told you could use it as a candle holder, as plant holder, pencil holder. You know, just use it to hold stuff in. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, and it has a striking resemblance of an artichoke. Yeah, so that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry if it was completely random, but yeah, this was from Pinterest. Uh, I'd say it was a Pinterest nail, not a Pinterest fail. So yeah, subscribe if you enjoyed this. If you aren't already, follow me on Pinterest. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Toodaloo.